I'm Frank Rohr, President and Chief Scientist of Delta, and this is John Devney, Vice President of Policy. And we're here to talk to you about the duck counts and the pond counts. Now, normally in July, in early July, the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Canadian Wildlife Service release the, the May surveys. This is the largest survey of wildlife in the world, and we base a lot of our duck management on it. But this year, regulations changed. We're going to use last year's numbers to set the seasons. The seasons have already been set, and that's a great thing for hunters. They'll know what the framework dates are much earlier than normal. But the downside is us duck guys are clamoring. We're frustrated. We want to know what did the counts in May and through mid-June tell us about the ducks. Now, honestly, we, don't, we won't know that until August. But John and I have decades of experience up here, and we've read the pilot biologist's accounts, and so we're going to speculate about pond numbers and duck numbers. Where we're standing is pretty typical of what we saw this spring across big areas of the prairies. We know southern Alberta was very, very dry. Southern Saskatchewan was quite, quite dry. Southern, southwestern Manitoba may end up being the bright spot, I think. But here in the Dakotas, we were quite dry as well. North Dakota Game and Fish released their survey, which uh, is independent from the Fish and Wildlife Service survey, and their pond estimate was down 48% and quite a bit below the long-term average. So I think the big theme about the, what we're gonna see with the duck numbers when we officially get them from the feds, and the big story is gonna be declining duck production as a result of relatively dry prairies. My driving around, and even in southwestern Manitoba, the seasonals and temporaries, these small ponds that are super productive in the spring and drive productivity for the dabblers anyway, they were dry in southern Manitoba. And here in North Dakota, it was even worse in our study areas. You know, these dry conditions mean that the ducks are either going to overfly or they're going to settle on big wetlands where you can pack a lot of ducks in, but they may not breed. So, so I agree, the, duck, the pond numbers are going to be much lower this year. So if the pond numbers are lower, we know that's going to wreak havoc with duck distribution. We're not going to get ducks settling in the most productive part of the breeding range. We also know that females won't re-nest with the same intensity. And then there's a third thing is we're going to have declining duckling production. This is, this seasonal wetland is the absolute greatest duckling habitat and and we're standing in it right. so ducklings aren't here obviously what ducklings love are these flooded seasonal ponds when they're available but they're not available this year they're over on semi-permanent ponds and many of those ponds the water is shrunk away from the cattail so there's really very little cover so brood survival re-nesting and even initial nesting is going to be down as Fr frank mentioned we usually would have the numbers here we'd be talking specifically about the numbers but because we have to wait, we're anxious, we know you're anxious to get this information, we're gonna make some guesstimates. Uh, Frank and I are gonna go through pond counts, total ducks, and then we're gonna go through a little richer assessment by species here in, our, in another video that we're gonna to produce today. But let's talk about ponds, Frank. Last year we had 6.3 million ponds. Um, across the traditional, the course across the prairies. The prairie region, yeah. So, Frank, what's your estimate on what we're going to see on ponds this year? I, I'm seeing many fewer ponds. The seasonals are still there. I mean, the semi permanents are still there, but the seasonals and temporaries are way down. And I think we're going to see a big drop. 3.9 million is is going to be my guess on pond count. 3.9. What's the biggest drop we've ever seen, Frank? We've seen some really big drops in some drought years of 3 million or more. So that's not the biggest drop. I'm not predicting the largest drop, but, but it's, it's going to go down. Yep. Yep. Okay, so Frank's going to be at 3.9. I'm going to be at 4.3 million ponds. Um, maybe I'm just a little more hopeful for, than you for a change. Um, last year, we had a record May count. 49.5 million. That's pretty amazing since we've been counting the same way since 1955. The question is how much will it change? It shouldn't change too much, but we know ducks will overfly. So, so I'm going to guess we're going to come in quite a lot lower. 41 million. That's my guess. 41 so, million? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to come in at 43. Um, I, think, I think we're going to see some big drops out of the prairie nesters. I think maybe some of those ducks in the boreal fare a little better, so I'm yep. going to come in at 43.
We, uh, we just made some estimates based on what we've seen in the prairies and, and the pond counts. We, we invite you to come to the Delta website and uh, make your own estimates and, and try and get in on the competition. What's the website site again? DeltaFallFlight.com and there'll right. be some great prizes and we'll have a little fun with this till we see the real Could numbers be fun. from the Fish and Wildlife. In August we'll see the real numbers.